Hey everyone, so in this episode, uh, we'll, we're going to be looking at capturing customer information in our checkout process and storing that in our uh, cache. And the reason we want to store it in our cache because sometimes customers, they go through filling out their information and then they get to checkout and they get discouraged by the price. They're like, ooh, two quid for a t-shirt. It's like, ooh, too pricey today. And then they come back a week later and all their information is filled out and they're ready to check out. So we want to make that process a little bit easier for them. And so first of all, uh, let's go into our cart and let's create an add customer information.cs. Right. Uh, let's copy all this functionality from our add cart. Add to cart. And let's start just fixing uh, our imports and uh, uh, constructors cart product. We don't want to use cart product here and still want the JSON convert. How much do we need to remove? If, uh, comments would have helped here. Let's just remove all this stuff. There we go. And we can just serialize the request here. Call this var. Okay. Cool. Now, all we want to put in our request is our customer information. So let's go to our domain model in order and let's pull out the customer information. And it's actually missing some. So let's create a few more properties. Uh, let's create a first name, second name, actually let's call it last name, let's say email, and let's say phone number, yeah that will do, let's copy all of this, and let's put it in our add to cart request here. And let's add some validation. Okay, required. And let's put it above every property. And uh, let's say data type. This is an email address. This is phone number. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks looks okay to me. Whoa, 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 wait. Let's copy all of this and we don't actually let's control Z out of here and let's close this so we don't actually change our add to cart. We don't want to do that. We want to put this in our add to customer information. All right, let's import our uh, data annotations, and I think we're good to go. Let's just no, we don't actually need here. We can we will check for validation in our controller. All right, uh, actually, let's not close that just yet. Let's keep it open here. We will close the order though. Okay, cool. Now let's go into our UI layer, into pages. Let's create a new folder called uh, checkout dot nope slash, and let's put customer information. Actually, no, we want to generate. Wait, so checkout slash actually shift A it's faster. A razor page, and let's call it customer information. Wait for that to generate. Okay, nice. And let's open our CSH CS file. Let's create a constructor CTOR tab twice. Let's pass in our application DB context. X. Um, let's rename this. Okay, there we go. Let's also create a public void on 
post. And let's make a prop. And uh, this is going to be our add customer in formation. I just uh, realized, realized we spelled this one incorrectly. So add information for information. Okay. Uh, rename the constructor and let's rename the file as well. Oh, all right, and use cart and dot request. Cool. And let's name this customer information. Okay. And let's bind this property. <clears throat> Okay, and on get, what we want to do is we want to get cart, and on post, we want to post cart. And if cart exists, go to payment. Okay, so let's write our get cart. So get customer information. Sorry, not cart, customer information. I'm derping a little bit today. So um, let's go into here and let's just copy all of this. Get customer information. Right. Um, rename the constructor. In mind, let's remove all of this. And what we want to do is actually let's go into our add customer cart and instead of cart, let's do customer dash info. Okay. And this is the key that we want to use here as well. So instead of this, we want to get string. Okay. So let's do request. And we don't want to pass anything here because it either exists or it doesn't. So uh, what we want to do is take our JSON converter. Let's import it. Not like that. Deserialize object and let's deserialize it to this request. And we don't want this string object here or string object. We get it like this cool string object. Our response. Okay, nice. And if string is null or empty, if our string object is null, we want to return null as well. Okay. So let's go to our CS here and let's get our customer information. So var uh, information equals let's get customer information new and let's pass HTTPX context session all do all right so if information is null that means one return page else one return all right, make sure this is an I action result so we can actually return page. Uh, a redirect to page. And let's call it payment. Okay. 
So if it's null, go to this page. If it's not, go to payment. Mm. We won't be able to edit our um, customer information, but I'd say bear, bear with that. We'll we'll handle handle that later on. Got that. So now on post, let's do something similar. Let's take new add customer information. Pass our HTTP contact session. All do. And let's just pass our customer information. Okay, simple enough. And then return. Uh, Want to redirect to payment. Uh, again, make sure this is an I action result. And here, all we want to do is if model state is valid, return page. So if it's not valid, we want to return the page. Otherwise, add the customer information and go to payment. Cool. So let's quickly add in our checkout. What is this? <laughs> I definitely don't want this application DB context here. I must have misspelled. Yep. Application DB context. Cool. Delete this. Reimport this. We. And hold up, we're not actually using our DB context. Let's remove it. Okay, that was a little bit silly. And let's just quickly add a new page called Payment. And let's put a header here Payment. And just for fun, let's go to the on get. Let's do the same thing that we're doing on our customer information here. But here what we're going to do is if we're going to check. So if we have, uh, if the information is null, we don't want to allow payment. So we want to return redirect uh, to page. And we want to redirect to customer cus uh, slash Checkout slash customer information. All right, and this slash checkout, we want to put it on our customer information as well. But first of all, let's not forget I action result here. Here, and by default, let's return page here so we don't get the error. Nice. Let's close this now. Okay, we'll check that later, and let's just put our checkout here. Okay, looking good. Let's go into our actual customer information. Let's make a div and let's make a bunch of inputs for our model. So ASP for customer information. And let's start with first name, blah, 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 blah. Print these out, last name, phone number, uh, email, address one, address two, city, and postcode. Cool. Uh, actually, we want to wrap this in a form as well. There we go. Let's make a button. Submit all of this. And let's give it a type of submit as well. Like that. Okay, one thing though. Let's go into our at customer information. Let's remove required from address too because, you know, Sometimes it's not required. Cool. So another thing we can do in our customer information front end is we can take span and we can display validation for customer information uh, for any of these uh, values, really. So I'm going to do just that. Let's separate this out a little bit. 
like so. And let's wrap these in their own separate divs. Okay, uh, so now that we have uh, this, let's uh, go ahead and run this, test this out. Uh, let's remove this. Uh, so, so let's go to checkout customer information and let's fill this out. All right, submit email at a.com. <clears throat> so there was a problem. Let's see what the problem is. Uh -huh. Let's go. Oh. Uh, in our page, let's remove the action dot slash here. Uh, let's refresh. All right. So there we go. Uh, is it valid? Yes, let's store it in our session and let's go to payments. Okay, so we're in our payments. So if we go back, we try to go to checkout. Uh, let's see, check out customer information. You see, we're getting it redirected to payments. So that means our uh, information is stored in the session and will persist through closing the what's it called um, the browser unless we stop the server like so so again let's try to actually test something here let's try to go to checkout slash payments if i know how to spell payment not so. and there you go and we get redirected to customer information so we know our get customer information works and our customer information works the storage works as well so this will be it for this episode not too long now until we gonna implement a stripe payment and uh, after that we're gonna work on primarily styling and building up our shop to look like the best shop in the internet webs so yeah stay tuned <laughs> if you like this episode like subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comments and as always see you in the next episode